Today we're going to be making honey cinnamon crunch ice cream. So let's go ahead and get started. In this bowl, you ready spaghetti? I can't get it's like he's riding a bunkin' bronco over there. Are you winning the rodeo or what? Now. Now you're ready? I just want to skip. Alright, in this bowl we've got two-thirds of a cup of cinnamon chips melted with just a tiny bit of coconut oil to And they're not soft. actually chips. Chips. Somebody woke up on the wrong side of the bed today, they're not I think. Chips. Well they're like chocolate chips, except for they're cinnamon. Yeah. So this normally is cinnamon chocolate chips. But they're not chocolate. They should call them cinnamon, not chocolate chips. <laughs> okay. So we have two thirds of a cup of cinnamon, not chocolate chips. Uh, and we're going to stir in a cup of Rice Krispies. To the three quarters of, three quarters of a cup of not chocolate, cinnamon, not chocolate chips. That's what you call them from now right. on. And I've seen these. I know like Hershey's makes a variety, but they must be seasonal because our grocery store didn't have them right now. And I know I've seen them there before. Um, so we found these ones at a specialty store. I know they're available on Amazon. Um, so like I said, I would guess they're seasonal and that's why I couldn't find them at our grocery store, but I was able to find them locally. Um, I'll try to remember to put a link in the description so that you can get some online if you'd like to make this. All right, once we get them coated, we're going to spread them out and um, let them cool. Go ahead and put them in your freezer or refrigerator until your ice cream is um, frozen, and then we'll put them in at the end. That way they stay in crunchy Here. chunks. As you hold the bowl, I spray them out. Okay, can I look at it real quick and just make sure that we're good and coated? We are. We are good and coated. All right. Oh, look at all that stuff that's still down there. Right, that's what I was wondering. Mmm. I want to try some. I'm sure you will in a minute. I mean, like, now. Now. I'll take a piece out of here or something. I guess it doesn't matter. Take a piece from somewhere. Let's grab a little piece off this. Don't smush them all. Cinnamon? Alright. It doesn't matter if they're in teeny tiny chunks because they'll break up a little bit when we put them in the ice cream maker, but we do want them kind of... Can you all stuff if that's over? Sure. But they are good. Okay, so like I said, we're going to go ahead and let these set up. And then um, it'll be time to make the ice cream base. Isn't that good? Okay, so we already have ice cream made. I'm just joking, and I'm stowing it up. <laughs> All right, it's time to make the base. Um, we're going to use two and a half cups of whole milk. Two and a half cups? Wait, it's a two and a half cups. Well, here's two cups, and here's a half a cup. Is a half cup full? Mm-hmm. It's full. It's cool. Not help pouring it? Uh, I need more of the space. I need more of a bigger space. Okay. We use it with raw milk. Alright, we need a third of a cup of one brown sugar. It makes it easier when you just do it at once. And when you store it up some. Should be stored up some. And then we're gonna All you need this. Oh, honey. Here. Let me do it. Oh. This 
is some of our um, honey from Uncle Casey. So it's we're all local honey. You can obviously use whatever you have. This is honey that my brothers and dad have. They have their own bees and LD here helps with the bees and loves to help spin the honey. I have my own bees too. We should make a YouTube video of spinning honey sometime. Oh yeah. And you guys and show us some of the beehives and stuff. We'll have to think to do that sometime. And it's time to haul this honey. They've already all this did the second batch, so next when No next I think they said there might still be some fall honey, but we'll just have to see how the hives do, huh? Yes, there is, and we'll try to make sure we're there for the honey spinning, and we'll try to take a video, and we'll try to show some hives. Make sure we get all that good stuff in there. Yeah, it is pretty good. And I helped um, spin some honey, and I got a full jar full of honey. Mm-hmm. Not like a, like you, like a pint sized jar, huh? Yeah, big one. Yeah, it was full of honey. All right, and I think honey and cinnamon go so well together, so this is a really good ice cream. All right, you once you get, it. hmm, you ever had it? Yeah, have I? It's been a while, I don't know. Okay. All right, once you get the honey and sugar mostly dissolved in, we're gonna add just a tiny pinch of salt. A little bit. I just look a tiny bit more. Okay, and then we're gonna put a tablespoon each of cinnamon and vanilla. Is this a teaspoon or a tablespoon? That's a tablespoon. The teaspoon's the smaller one, and the tablespoon's the bigger one. Oh yeah, that dissolved in pretty good. It feels like. How do you know it's been so long since you made it? How do I know what? I can feel that it's dissolved in because it doesn't feel like there's a bunch of grit on the bottom. Okay, now we need a tablespoon of vanilla. Huh. You always got to still it. Okay. It makes it easier, whoa. Whoa, look at all this. on top, huh? That's talking about the dust. It smells very cinnamony. That's like a foam layer of cinnamon on top. Mm -hmm. Is what it looks like. There we go. Now it's mixing in a little bit, huh? Yeah, now, I mean, it, now it's getting more. There's still some brown, too. Yep, that's alright. It'll stir in what, as it's freezing, too. Yeah, because the mixer does that job. Yep. But look, like it's foam inside of there. Mm hmm. Because we probably whipped up so, so much air in it. Mm hmm. Oh, I shook my hand. A little extra. A little extra. Oh, also that isn't that like homemade vanilla yeah, one? That's homemade vanilla too. All right. Once you get that stirred in good, we're gonna add the cream. Once you add the cream, you don't want to whip it too hard. You don't want to add a bunch of air in. You want to let the turner add just a little bit of air as it's turning. So yeah, because go ahead and make sure it's stirred good now. And then once you add the cream, just mix it in. Don't go crazy on it. Like this. Yeah, don't do that. Two and a half cups. Oh, same amount of milk? Yep. So why couldn't we just use twice as much milk? 
because you need the fat in the cream, which is what makes it so creamy and good once it's frozen. If it's all milk, then it'll be, um, there'll be more ice crystals in it. Well, then this has more ice crystals in it. Your dad kind of likes it when it's a little bit grainy. He likes that kind of homemade ice cream where it's not super smooth. But you can adjust the ratios if you want and add a little less cream and more milk, but it does freeze harder. And you could add more cream and it would freeze. Should I do it very little? Cream here. Like? Nope, just pour it in. Just don't mix it very much once it's in. So I'm gonna see like that some. And we just need a half cup. Is that what we had last time? Yep. Splash. Okay. And then stir it in some. Yep, just stir it a little bit and then we'll put it in the turner. It's, isn't it called the ice cream maker? It's in the ice cream maker. Like that? Yep. And it mix as it freezes too, so you just need it stirred in a little. Alright, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put it in our ice cream maker. And then that will take... Help. That'll take about a half hour or so, and then right when it's about ready to come out of the ice cream maker, we'll put in the um, our cinnamon crispies that are in the freezer now. Yeah, and also the, the cinnamon drops. That's what it says on the bag. Okay, the bag says they're cinnamon drops. Okay, so the ice cream, you can see it's really full. Mm -hmm. basically done. We got some of these. I'm just kind of going to throw some of them in. Yep. Our ice cream maker is so full, I'm not sure we're going to be able to mix them in this way. Yeah, it's kind of smushed them in. So we might just have to layer them in as we put it in our containers, because it is full. Oh, oh. I'm just putting a couple chunks in the bottom of the container. Okay. So we got a stall of layering. Oh, yeah. See, I'll, I'll kind of sprinkle a little bit on the way. Okay. Once you eat some ice cream in, every, like, spatula full of ice cream, I'll put some in. Okay. Oh, yeah. This smells good. Okay. Alright, so we'll go ahead and get this layered in here and then freeze them for a couple hours. And then yeah, maybe nice we should just put it cool. in sooner. You yeah. know? Well, you don't want them to break up too much. You want them to be nice and crunchy and chunky. But either way, the ice cream maker was going to get full. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That looks good. That does look well, good. Let me just put a couple more on top. Okay. All right. So, so as you can see, we it's load, good. We layered it in. Yep. That'll work out good when we um, scoop it out later. Yeah. Should we go ahead and give it a quick taste so we can kind of get an idea of what it tastes like, and then that way they don't have to watch us do another. Yo, let's just. I'm just gonna. You're gonna do a little bit of each. Yes. Yeah, I'll give you a little chunk. Okay. Yeah, I'll give you two. I did two. Mmm. That's really good. Sometimes when we make ice cream, we just take a little bit, one more. Um, put it in containers and just take a little smidge. Mm-hmm. All right, well, this is super good on its own. It would be great with, like, um, 
like apple pie or baked apples or something like that. So I hope you give it a try. If you want us to see, you can't keep sticking your food in there, good ball. Um, if you want to see us make a different kind of ice cream, if you have an idea for a flavor, let us know in the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time. Thanks for Bye. watching. Bye.